Now, the United States and China have opened another round of trade talks, the first since Donald Trump and Xi Jinping agreed uh, to a truce at last month's G20 summit. Expectations of a breakthrough are low, however, and the American president has accused Beijing of not following through on its previous commitments. France 24's business editor Kate Moody is here with more details. Good evening, Kate. Hi, not there's not much optimism about the two-day meeting in Shanghai, is there? No, there really isn't. Investors in particular are very worried uh, that this dispute is going to just drag on and on, uh, or in fact even escalate. And that's been weighing down global stock markets this Tuesday. Just hours after U.S. negotiators touched down in Shanghai, Donald Trump began tweeting at length about his uh, admittedly low expectations for the outcome. He accused China of always changing the framework of the deal at the last minute uh, and of reneging on its commitments. Here you can see uh, he says that the country hasn't showed signs of buying U.S. agricultural goods as previous drafts of a deal had promised. And he says that the Chinese economy is suffering more than America's. Now, Chinese data actually indicate that farmers there have indeed resumed purchases of U.S. soybeans and pork, uh, while Washington has lifted tariffs on 110 Chinese-made industrial goods, and it's been easing its restrictions on the tech giant Huawei. The fact that these talks are taking place in Shanghai is seen uh, as a symbolic uh, possible sign of progress. It's a nod to a breakthrough on trade issues with the EU that took place 12 years ago. But many analysts on both sides uh, say that say that the two presidents have proved that they're willing to play a waiting game. Take a listen. Ultimately, the U.S. has the better position, because the Chinese economy is even more dependent on selling to the U.S. and working with tech leaders in Silicon Valley than vice versa. However, the Chinese political system is more patient compared to the American system, so both sides probably think they have better cards in their hands. And that's also why it's so hard to come to an agreement. So, Kate, it seems that the stakes are high both politically and economically. Absolutely, because neither president wants to be seen as backing down uh, to the other, of course, uh, especially with the U.S. elections coming up next November. Now, Trump actually suggested that Beijing might be trying to buy time, uh, hoping to deal with a different and possibly softer administration. Nearly every analysis of the global economy in the past 18 months has showed that the tensions and tariffs are weighing on global growth, investment and investor confidence, despite some easing since the G20 summit, the world's two largest economies are still imposing tariffs on half of their overall trade. That's more than $300 billion worth of goods. This is the 12th round of negotiations since the trade war began about a year and a half ago. And the trickiest issues, like technology transfers and subsidies, look as complex as ever, Delano. Uh, we'll have to wait and see if Steve Mnuchin and Robert Lighthizer do come out with something uh, after these two days of meetings that continue in Shanghai.